Thank you as always to Anu Adam for the international news. Now we're going to look a little more locally now. Hundreds of thousands of pieces of Korea's cultural heritage have gone missing, unfortunately, over the years, either stolen or sold away on black markets. To give residents the chance to check out some of the previously lost beauties, a project is being held in Seoul that brings once missing art pieces inside the capital's often busy subway cars. Our EG1 went to check them out and filed this report. For the next couple of weeks, passengers on Seoul Subway Line 3 will have something to brighten up their commute. Seoul Metro has been working together with a local cultural heritage foundation to share with the public some of Korea's traditional paintings that are stored overseas. And last Friday, they unveiled the project. Two pieces of traditional artwork are printed on the floors of two cars of a Seoul Metro Line 3 train. One of the pieces is this Hage Pungsokdo, or Portrait of Four Seasons by Kim Hongdo, one of the most talented and famous painters of the Joseon dynasty. And like most of Kim's works, the paintings on the train satirically portray the lives of Koreans in the 18th century in four different seasons, including the nobleman feasting with Kiseng or female entertainers. The painting was purchased by a French diplomat in the late 1800s and was donated to the Guimet Museum in Paris after he died. Another work displayed in the train is the Shipjangseng or the Ten Symbols of Longevity. King Gojong of the Korean Empire had the painting made in 1880 after his son recovered from smallpox. The painting portrays various elements of nature, including water, the sun, fruits and animals that symbolize eternal youth and prosperity. The painting was sold and brought to the United States in the early 1900s, ending up at the University of Oregon. These paintings have recently been digitally restored, but because the original works are abroad, many Koreans don't really know about them or have the chance to appreciate them. We hope the project sparks people's interest in this lost cultural heritage. It looks very nice because it makes the dull floor colorful, and I think it's a good opportunity to introduce our culture and history to people. Explanations of the history of the works are posted on the walls, letting passengers learn more about the country's lost cultural heritage. I think it's really sad that our cultural heritage was taken out of our country when we were weak and poor. I hope those works can be brought back. And by boosting public interest in the more than 136,000 pieces of Korean cultural heritage taken or sold around the world, the organizers hope to one day bring them all back home. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.